Good evening, everyone. I would like to acknowledge the incredible work and dedication of Dr. Bruce Shepherd and, and his late wife, Annette, who had a vision to create a better world for children with hearing loss. Dr. Shepherd pursued, pursued his belief and believed that with the help of early intervention and auditory verbal therapy, that, that deaf children could become a part of the hearing world. My name is Sophie Dude and I'm 20 years old. I was born nine weeks premature. I failed three screening hearing tests and I was diagnosed with a severe bilateral hearing loss. And then I was fitted with hearing aids not long after. My parents started to search around for programs and support and were recommended to the Shepherd Centre by a family friend. We knew from the moment we walked through the doors we had come to the right place. From the age of six months old, I attended weekly therapy sessions with the amazing therapist receiving auditory verbal th therapy. At three and a half years old, my hearing deteriorated further, at which point a cochlear implant was suggested to us by the very knowledgeable and talented Anne Fulcher. This was a big decision for my parents. However, the confidence instilled in us by the Shepherd Centre allowed us to take this leap of faith and feel safe and secure every step of the way. At the age of four, I was implanted. From what I can remember, this was a huge adjustment to learn how to listen to the new device. And the many hours spent in therapy at the Shepherd Centre was exhausting for my family and I. I graduated from the formal intervention program in 2000, early intervention program in 2002 at five years old and went off to mainstream school speaking and listening just like all the other kids. At the age of 14, it was suggested to it was it was suggested to us by the Shepherd Centre that I was an appropriate candidate for a second cochlear implant, and I was given the title of the 200 recipient to be implanted through the First Sounds program. After finishing my HSC, I studied and completed a certificate for a community services through TAFE. I then went on to complete a diploma of community services, which I completed at the end of last year. During this time, I completed a number of work placements, working in the disability sector, working with children, teenagers and parents. After that, I've now been working for Hire Up, a disability-based organisation, for five months. My job is all about communication, speaking, listening and making connections with clients on the phone. I was not born to, uh, I was not born to speak or hear and being able to is the most important thing to me. That I, that I have overcome the barrier to shine in the light thanks to the ongoing support of the Shepherd Centre and my wonderful family. My proudest achievement today is that I have developed the adequate speech and listening skills that has, that has allowed me to attend a mainstream school, participate... Um, sorry, on, and... And allow, and allow me to go to continue studying and attain a tertiary qualification and, and gain employment while still being part of my various social groups. As quoted by Helen Keller, blindness separates us from things, but deafness separates us from people. The Shepherd Centre has had a profound impact on both my life and my family's. Without the Shepherd Centre, we wouldn't have the life we do today. The Shepherd Centre not only provides hearing impaired children with speech and listening skills, but gives each child confidence that, they, that they're able to do whatever they choose to do in life. Now 20 years old, I'm a passionate advocate 
for the Shepherd Centre. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak tonight and to acknowledge the excellent support and dedication that my family and I have received over the years from the Shepherd Centre, helping me to overcome one of the most significant barriers I face and enabling me to listen and speak.